Hi guys, welcome back to King's Bounty Armored Princess. I'm LPRPG. Let's continue with our adventure. In the last episode, we came here to the Montero Mines and we explored quite a bit of it already. It's actually quite nice to see the map at the moment. We are right here and we are standing very close to the entrance to the abandoned mines. And I think this is the way out of here. There's an another exit right there. Alright, well, we have to wait for this guy to move. He did turn around, so I do believe that he's going to move the other way right now. But there's also this, the abandoned mines. And we're now here, so I'm very curious. Let's find out what's in here. Oh, hello. Um, the abandoned mines. This looks like a maze already. Beware. Yeah, okay. Well, alright, well, I might get myself into trouble, but I'd like to know. Yeah, this is definitely looks like a maze. Hopefully it's not like the maze that was in the legend, because that one, if you went back, it didn't take you back where you came from. But then again, we're not doing so bad so far. Even the last fight, I thought I was in trouble and I managed to do it without any losses. So I'm just going to try this, I guess. Also a new creature again, the Tyrex. Again, a dinosaur. I'm very curious. So let's just find out, can we do this? Right then, well, this again will help me. The trap here, this is actually quite nice. You are new. You have a thousand hit points. Thousands. Primal fear. Lizardmen let loose a terrible roar. And all enemy troops of a lower leadership suffer 10 to 40 damage and lose half their X points. Has no effect on troops who are immune to mind attacks. So let's lose a terrible roar. And all enemies, troops of lower leadership. Lower leadership. 2000. Does this mean enemies of lower leadership? 6,000? Because there's three of them? I'm not really sure how this works. I guess we will see. They also ravenously hungry lizard men ravaged the corpse of a fallen troop, completely destroying their health and action points. That's nasty if you have a thousand health and you can restore it all to full. Tyrant, all the enemies in the neighboring cells suffer a 30% loss of their base defense. It's really nasty. Rock skills, we know this one. Giant Lizardman. All Lizardmen in the army receive plus one morale. Predator. When destroying a troop, predators can eat the corpse to restore their health. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. The troop attack may terrify the opponent. A terrified opponent is unable to counterattack. Man, these are nasty. Well, we do have a lot of rage. So let's see what we can do with this. Those are the burrowing guys again. I'd like to slow these guys down. Here we go with the traps again. Maybe... Maybe... Hypnosis? Oh, we don't have enough mana. Pick me. Reduce the target size, decreasing its health. And the damage of its base attack. Yeah. I guess. But for now, 
I like to slow them down. Something like that will work. Wait. Oh, let's see this roar of them. Heavenly Guard. Oh, come on, not over there. Because I'm hoping it means that... Uh, well, I do I believe I have more than 30,000 leadership, so... If it means my leadership, then they cannot do it because my leadership is more than their 2,000s. But I think this just simply means you need 2,000 leadership to have one of those in your army. So, three of them, it means that my opponent right now has 6,000 leadership at least. That's more than me. A lot more than me. Oh well, let's just... Uh, they're not that fast. So, I'm pretty sure that we can kill some of them before they reach me. Yeah, there's already one of them. You can run, but you already used it. This is safe. Oh, I should have. Should have given another turn to my uh, rangers. Yeah, I'm not so sure if I really want to be close to you guys. Maybe a wall. Interesting. Maybe I can place a wall in this fight. Should I hit you? Well, first I can't wait anymore. How many can you kill running? 200, so it's still a very high retaliation. Uh, maybe it's better to do it in the next turn because then I can hit them with the snakes first. Yeah, I think so. Let's just get close. Yeah, right there. Defend. Yeah, it's a lot better like this. Alright, here we go. So, I can do another dragon dive. I might actually kill some of those uh, dinosaurs. Alright, we can place something like a wall, but... I think the first guy will already destroy our wall, and then the other guys can still move past it, so... I prefer just to do some damage, I think. Dragon dive right there, it's perfect. Come on. Yeah. I think I like that one more. So, another trap. Uh, the, the dinosaur will move first, so he can only move right there. So, let's just move out of their way. We are moving that way. This will give us some more turns. Right, we'll counter take, but now it's just 400, so... That's fine. attacking okay that's already them down you can also block them yeah sure kill one of them whack lost 28 yeah they are very strong what was that executioners use the ability execution 770 damage, angelic guards kill 20, the troopers kill, the fear vanishes, and the angelic guard regain self-control, well they're dead, they're not regaining anything. Yeah, make sure to kill one of them. Shoots. Oh, here we go with the range text. No, what did they do? I lost control of my paladins. 
timidity timidity troops initiative is reduced fear target is filled with fright and is too panicky to obey orders it flees from enemies it's still fleeing it's running towards them you call that fleeing he's running towards them I think I'm going to need to use teleport to get my paladins out of there. Three to five. Right. Um, but also trying to step out of the way. Oh, of course, they get the first turn. Next turn. Uh, maybe again a dragon dive? I think so. Yeah, these three, yeah. Go. Now uh, I'm going for the teleport. If I can cost just five mana. You. Um. Or are you all right, right there? I'm not sure if he's okay. Well, he will win it, of course, against those two. But I will lose quite a, quite a few of them. Let's see. They get the first turn. They can move two spots. One, two. So if I teleport my paladin somewhere around here, I should be okay. And I can at least hit those dinosaurs. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. And also, oh no, um, teleport is going to be my spell then. So, select the troop you wish to move. These move out of their way, move somewhere. They are still, they're still terrified. So I'm just going to move them all the way. Go away. I don't trust you anymore. I don't trust them. Wait. First snakes. What are you doing? Are you also terrified? Is everybody terrified right now? Everybody is... don't even control my units anymore. Nice, at least. That's good. Well, if I'm still going to win this. Well, how many more turns? Initiative. Fear. Man. Um, I want mana. Because I need to do some resurrecting. I still think it's okay. The paladins, we will get those back. I can cast some. Got plenty of rage, so I can get a lot of mana still. I think we're okay. Yeah. Losing too many of those drivens, I guess. Resurrection. I'll get some of them back, but not all of them. I guess you also have to move. Well, where are we going to do our resurrecting? I do control my Grivens again, so I think it's going to be the next turn. After I'm able to use my snakes again. So it will be somewhere around here. Okay, well, yeah, I control my units again, so let's let's do it in this turn. At least if I'm able to, this guy can move. Yeah, I think I'm able to do it in this turn. 
first we need more mana. Mana accelerator. Alright. That's one resurrection already. We can defend. We also need to get close. Um, yeah, also defend. Also get out of there. Do I want to hit them? No, I don't. Because if uh, they might just to go for, I could lay a trap. Then I do lose my resurrection again, but at least the paladins are safe. All right, I think I'm going to do it right there. A cheap trap. It's five mana. Right there. Wait. Yeah. I saved one massive attack on the paladins at the moment, so that's that's okay. I might all yeah, maybe I lost some of the inquisitors as well. I don't know anymore. Oh that's okay. Let's go with the range units. Okay, another paladin lost. Let's see what you can do. Second wind. Yes, shoot again. Now, prayer. What did we do? Why is he... ...come furious, gaining a second turn? But why did he move away in his turn? I don't know. Oh well. We did get a lot of our troops back. I think all of our paladins. So it's still fine. It's it's not so bad. Well, at least now I do know that we have to really watch out for those for those uh Tyrex dinosaurs. You can't really do anything. I'd like to give you a heal because you're very, very low. Just defend. You can shoot those again. Right, 20, this is enough. I'm also thinking about an artifact that uh, I found on Verona when I first came there. There was this artifact that gave the turn 5 rage into mana every turn during a fight. So I'm, I'm thinking about buying that artifact. Because. I'm doing the conversion qu quite a lot, so I think it's really good for us. Okay, but for now, we st uh, let's check out what I can resurrect. Hypnosis, can I control them? No, none. Got all my snakes, it's 12, okay. Yeah, I did lose a few of those, but that's fine. I did not even lose that many of the sea dogs either. Um, I think I prefer to cast yet another trap. Because that will mean that I'm safe again for, for this turn. I can do some moving around. You wait, um, well also crushing blow on those. I hope I still remember the way out of here, out of this maze after this. Wait, uh, you need to move out of the way. Wait. Yeah, don't do anything this turn. Well, maybe Maybe after the snake, so also wait. That's the first thing, yeah. Um, these still get to shoot, so... Yeah, I lost anyway, anyways. I still don't control them. I just simply... Don't control my paladins, but they... Did not take much damage at all. Okay. Um, 
kills them, but also retaliation, so no, we're not going to do this. No, snakes. Because they are safe to attack with. Well, not anymore. First, let's heal our... Our griffins. Okay, they're safe again. First, a crushing blow. Such a pain to, to fight against those, because of their the spikes. Yeah, I guess. I still think I will lose a few snakes. Well, I can resurrect some. Yeah, just join them. It's fine. Yeah, a lot of damage as well. We have to kill them! Hey, they're getting out of there. Okay. Did lose yet another Griffin. Just don't do anything, it's fine. Um, you can do your poison thing again. But first, crushing blow or more mana? Uh, I want more mana. Because we need to do some more resurrecting. I want my snakes back. This will actually kill them. Restriction. Snakes, only two. I cannot use it on those. Three of them. Twelve here. Uh, snakes, it's only two. So we're going with sea dogs. Alright. I guess this is it. Well, we could do another one. But then these guys also get another turn, so let's just end this. Oh, we didn't even end it. I don't want to do it with those. Who's number two? And th I can kill them with my Inquisitors, that's okay. Yeah, this will do it. Alright, definitely not flawless. But it wasn't terrible, it wasn't terrible. I have to really watch out for these Tyrex guys, they're nasty. Thank you, Griffin's back. Uh, do I still know the way back? I think so, yeah. This goes to a passage. Oh, well, let's just check it out. Whoa! Not so friendly, are we? Very s strong. Uh huh. Imps, scuffer imps. No, I don't think I want to attack you. Can I still escape you? I'm going to try it. Yes. Alright, I'm out of here. Well. And I move through here and go in a circle. Kind of risky again. T two migrants. Haha. <laughs> He's chasing me. Well, I'm getting deeper into this. Yeah, but there's no enemies in this room. Come on, I want the crystals. you. Let's just explore this thing. See where this takes us. Okay, there it is. Hey, five crystals. Slightly stronger. Demoness, scuffer imps. No, thank you. I can move past you guys and this will take me to another passage. Um, thorn hunters. 
Yeah, I don't think so. Let's get out of here. If I can still find my way out of here. Um. Well, although there is an enemy right there, it's a dragon. Bone dragons. It is hard to see. Or hard to spot, I mean. Discover aims unicorns. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, you see me. You see me. Let's get out of here. Okay, I think this is the entrance again. So, let's get out of here. I've seen enough of this. But, I do not know... Okay, this guy is still, still over there. I think when you go to a different zone, the zone that you came out of is just put on hold. It's just frozen. I don't think this guy moved at all. Alright, so we need to go to... Uh, I'm okay, taking a right. That guy still has to move to the left. Come on, don't just stand there and don't come back to me. Alright, that's good. Right, that's good enough. Let's get out of here. Yeah, well, okay. Can I see where that goes? Yeah, it's clouded. Alright, the plan is, well, let's exp explore the top, I guess, a little bit more. And after that we're going back to Verona still. I still didn't lose that many troops, so... I think we could do a couple more fights. Yes, okay. For instance, these guys. Slightly weaker. Alchemists! And the Chosha, Chosha, repair droids, Brontors and Grivens. It's not really that great, but I think we could do it. So, and if we can do it, I think we should do it. I have rage. I have mana. Let's go. Mm -hmm. One more resurrection on you. Yeah, I think this is actually f going to be flawless. All right, give us some more mana. Sixteen again. I do believe that there is no retaliation if he's unburrowed. Yes, flawless. I think. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Again, all those resurrections saving my uh, behind here. It's really working out. Alright, we found a little town again. Hello, Master Lotoref. Lotoref. If you are just passing through, then keep right on walking, there's nothing here for you. Hmm, friendly dwarf. For anything to sell. Steel boots. I can upgrade these, and there's only 6,000. Mind room. Also, it's 6,000. I can destroy those boots and get two crystals. Two, maybe even more. And those crystals, we could buy them for 10,000 gold, so buying crystals for 10,000 gold is really not worth it. We get two crystals for 6,000 gold. Well, we, we lose an artifact, but we're never going to use those boots. Same with this one. This level 2. This will actually give us four crystals. Give me that. Wow. Is this actually 
an artifact that was also in King's Bounty The Legends. 500 leadership, 20% attack for troops in the evening and at night. I'll take it. I'm actually going to use that one. Only have one spot for our helmet, but this one gave us a 300 leadership, but also attack and defense. This will give us a lot of attack during the night. Also, more leadership again. Now we can have 35 paladins. Missing 31 of the snakes. Also, 8 more gr griffins. I also got a lot of. a lot of runes again. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a few options right there. We can do this one damage reduced by 15%, defense plus 2. You know, it actually tells us how much damage it, it is uh, reducing. Only 15%. How much is it reducing right now? 10? 5? It doesn't tell me. Onslaught, speed and determination. This is the path of to victory. During their first move, troops receive a bonus to their initiative. And it's also giving me plus five rage it seems. I need more rage. Because we have some abilities that <laughs> need a lot of rage. Frenzy. So onslaught maybe. Rage control. Maximum rage increased. This will give us plus eight rage. This will increase the rage. Oh, we already get our rage really really fast. Oh, this is the bonus experience for the pets. <sighs> well, Max, you already get a lot of experience. Right now, we could use a little bit more rage. Well, we're going with maximum rage. 63. What can we cast? We can now cast the Fairy Phantoms again. I want 72. Alright, well, let's start. And you? Yeah, I know why you are here. I just recently finished forcing the X of the elements, and it's waiting for you. Are you sure you haven't confused me with someone else? Dwarf? This is the first time I've heard about the X of elements. Ha! Huh. I should have known. You sure you're not the person who commissioned the acts of the elements? Hmm, okay. My name is Crip Custer. I'm a blacksmith and I created enchanted weapons. Alright, well tell me about this axe. As the ancient legend tells us many years ago, all the Tiana was ruled by three dwarven kings. Yeah, nice story. So, what is this Axe of Elements that you mentioned? It is believed that if an axe is forged from fragments of 100 swords, 100 spears and 100 halberds, it is then taken to each of the tombs of the three kings and in turn the axe will absorb the power of the three great kings, becoming the Axe of Elements. The owner of such an axe would be capable of great things and be able to rise to the height of glory once enjoyed by the three kings. Could I possess this power? Yes, it's perfectly simple. I already have the first stage of the X of the Elements in my shop. Buy it and visit all three of the obelisks. Either you will win the power of the kings or their power will possess you, turning you into one of their keepers. This already tells me that it's going to be a fight against this item in the end. Not sure. Oh, we can find out about the keepers. Three great of the terrifying or terrible warriors endowed with enormous power and eternal life. Many have tried to overwhelm the keepers. Some even managed, but 
What happened to them? Nobody knows. Some say that these brave warriors were killed by the power of the Three Kings, a power which they were unable to tame. Others say that the winners vanquished the keepers only to take their place, trapped for all eternity by the power they sought to win for themselves. Interesting. I'll buy this axe. Only 10,000. Axe of elements. Well, right now it's not really that strong, it's only plus one attack, but I'm curious what this will turn out to be. Oil mist, we have this. Hey, you now have in your possession the axe of elements. Yes, I do. Now, according to legend, you must visit each obelisk of the Three Kings in order that you may gain power of the elements. Hey, it's even a quest. Visit the obelisk. Okay, this is mine. 15,000. Some more crystals again. Slightly weaker. I guess we can still do it. Polar bears. Some of those flying dinosaurs. The lizards, the gorgons, the brontors. Yeah, we should be able to do this. We we'll ha still have the rage for it, so let's go. And a treasure on the beach. Right, here we go. Should be flawless. Anything else? Let's get some more mana. We're coming out of this fight with more rage and more mana. Right, time to end this. Another flawless victory. Perfect. It's going great. These are even pretty strong targets. They're equal in strength and such. Fear. Also have 19 crystals again. else is still here. Oh hello, you look like... Yeah, exactly, you look like the hungry beast. We have a quest to kill you. Where was that again? This one, the hungry beast. Montero, find and kill the hungry beast. But your... Entrance to the abandoned mines. Okay, so we have to find a way through that maze. There's an exit that will take us to the Hungry Beast. We made a circle again. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, exactly. Because this guy is still invincible. Hey, he's lethal. Oh, I think he already was lethal. Right. Well, I'm going back. Maybe after I kill you. Equal in strength. Repair droids. Full mana, full rage. Yes, let's do it. Let's clear you up. Prayer. I think I've got everything back. Everything is full health. I had 18. I can end this. Flawless fights, come on, give it to me. No! Oh man, I forgot to check my Inquisitors. That's a shame, it could have been flawless for sure. Increase attack power. Ball of Lightning. Rage cost going up to 25. 
plus one rest explanation mark so plus one rest that's not good I think so it takes longer for, for you to cast it again I think maybe or is it yeah well that's the way I read it it's a lot more damage it's 20 to 42 So it can fill, kill 42% of the stack. That's very good. Leadership, Mystic Egg. Is this one keeps on changing, I think, because now it's 70% leadership. And sometimes it's just a number, something like 300 leadership. So I don't know what they mean with this. Mystic Egg. I don't know anymore. It's either the Ball of Lightning or the Mystic Egg. It sounds nice to be able to kill such a large part of a stack. But it's also for 25 Rage. I'll get the Mystic Egg. What did this get us? Ooh, nice, 1300 leadership or yeah, experience. And it's enough for our next level. I did not know even. I did not realize that we were so close. Alright, thank you. <laughs> we got a full level again already. I still remember that I was trying to get to level 22 before going back to Verona. Now we're already at level 23. Yeah. Um, we got a level. What can we do? Magic lights, meditation, increases your maximum mana and enables you to recover mana more quickly. Destruction, no. This is plus three intellect, no. Don't really want anything right there. Okay, we got some options here as well. Neatness, but no. Scouting and holy anger, the power of spirit. A higher level of spirit allows you to raise the attack and defense of your troops. I kind of want this one, the order magic. Or oh, very close. We only need one more. Okay, I'm saving up for this one. It's just one more magic rune. Can't we just find it somewhere around here? Ah oh, well, we have the option to buy it for a hundred thousand. Yeah, it's not worth it. Even though I do have three hundred, almost three hundred sixty thousand, but I don't think it's worth it. All right, we're going back. Finally, I'll speed up for you guys because it's quite a run. I'll meet you back in the village in Verona. Most I do remember that we also did a quest, and here we can hand it in. Uh, you want powder beer? Take it. You know, I've been thinking people like to try something new and unusual occasionally. Well, when I last visited Montero, I tried a special dwarven beer, pilot beer, it was called. I think this is what my tavern needs. Talk with powder and see whether. You will let me change my beer for some pilot beer. Then you'll get your pay. Come on, he wants us to... He wants us to go back. I don't have a choice, yeah. 40,000. Oh, now I also think about that artifact. I think it was for sale right here. This one. I think I should buy it. 
during combat the rage eater takes five points of rage and turns them into mana how often will this do it I think every turn I think every turn I'm getting it it's an artifact I'm not sure where we can place this I'm also buying this it's only seven thousand see if we can destroy some of these we now have two of those flags one making sure exactly the same plus three seven thousand five hundred exactly the same so we can destroy at least one of them four crystals I'll take it we had some more cheap ones that I bought I'd like to keep this one. Um, but I also need to upgrade some of these. Okay, I guess I need to do an episode with just upgrading fights. This one. This one I can destroy. 6000, level 2 should give us 4 crystals. Yes. Alright, okay. A lot of crystals. We need them to upgrade our spells. Alright, now we're really back in the village. And we're going back at full strength. Thirty six snakes. Alright guys, some nice progress again. And what, what did we do with this episode? Well, we just went back to Verona. Well, we did clear up a lot of well, trash enemies in Montero. And we also found out about the, uh, the beast, the quest, how to get there. Well, we need to figure out a way through the maze, through those abandoned mines. So that's also the other thing that we did. All in all, it's some nice progress again. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye.